We've added a number of improvements to the Unreal Editor to make it faster and easier to work with your assets. We've exposed basic UV projection methods of box, plane, and cylinder in the Static Mesh Editor in Unreal Studio. This enables users to quickly generate basic UVs in order to apply textures to objects, typically from CAD applications that have none. This eliminates the need to round trip to a DCC application for this purpose. We've added a Python API for the Variant Manager in Unreal Studio, enabling users to automate the process of generating variants in the Unreal Editor. In this example, we're using a Python script to generate and set up variants for the car's wheels and body color. We've added a new HDRI backdrop actor that makes it easy to use a 360-degree HDR image to create a plausible environment in which to showcase an object. The actor automatically projects the chosen background image onto a fake ground plane that acts as a shadow catcher and is used to light the scene with image-based lighting. We've made several improvements to IES light profiles. We've added the ability to preview the shape of an IES light with a viewport mesh widget, making it easier to predict where the light will fall in a scene. Additionally, the parsing of IES files is now more accurate, generating better results. A new Unreal Studio template combines the features from the previous collaborative viewer and product viewer templates, making it easy for users to conduct collaborative design review sessions. The template has a variety of navigation modes as well as VR support. Additionally, it provides easy to set up and use tools for moving objects, animated exploded views, X-ray and geometry, and setting bookmarks. With these enhancements to Unreal Engine and Unreal Studio, it's now easier than ever to create your enterprise experiences. Mm -hmm.